738. It sure is pretty. Oh, the car? Oh, yeah. You weren't crazy about the color. I'm kind of colorblind, so I don't... I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> it's not my pick, uh, I guess, when it comes to color choices at Wallace. You're very conservative, though. You're kind of prudish when it comes to car colors. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a little outrageous here. What I have is the Mercedes GLA, and to start off with December, we're going to have nothing but these crossovers all month long. This one was updated last year. The rest will be brand new. But it was time to look at the GLA again. This is the 250, comes with a four-cylinder engine, 208 horsepower, and it gets up and go. In fact, when we first reviewed this one, this was a brand new car, I kind of liked it. It was designed so Mercedes would have a competitor to the BMW X1, which has also been updated and is very nice. So you have a price structure that's gonna start out in the low 30s. This one has everything on it, including navigation, the panoramic moonroof, and it's gonna be right at $50,000, and yet that doesn't really offend me because it's such a great driving little car. Now on the road, you're gonna get a little bit more road noise than I think it ought to have, but the handling of it is absolutely great and it's fun. The interior looks like a Mercedes and over the last 20 years what Mercedes has really improved is the controls with an iDrive like system in order to move things around like navigation. 20 years ago when all this stuff first came out Mercedes were really complex and onerous to use and this one is now simple like crazy. Really done nice. That Air conditioning and heating works extremely well in it. Now, the overall size of this as a comparison is about a half foot shorter than Honda CRV. And yet you can see from the back here, it's still, even though it's a compact, got more than reasonable amount of space for people front and back. And then finally in the back section, good amount of space. And as always, it has this lip here to where if you have a driveway, things don't roll out of the back if you go to the grocery store and then have to unload it. So, the one little complaint I had, although I heard your comment, Tim, it's actually maybe the reverse, is I don't know whether you use the term the seats are really stiff or they're very hard. It is true in this vehicle, but I'm thinking for those who have a back problem, this is actually a car that would be good for you to drive. Overall, it's great, but we got a lot more coming this month. With that, you all have a good weekend. Kind of like, kind of like a good hard bed for right. your back, right? Exactly, yeah. They yeah. say that that's good for you if you have yeah. a bad back. All right, Ed Wallace, Thanks. thank you so much. You can listen to Ed on 570 KLF tomorrow. His car column is always in Saturday's Fort Worth Star-Telegram.